What's up guys? Today I'm doing the Ride or Die makeup tag. If you have not heard of it yet, it is a tag created by Jaclyn Hill where you just pick your Ride or Die product for each category and I'm really excited because I think I have some really great things. I have a lot of drugstore things and I have a few high-end things that I just really love and I can't wait to share with you guys. And on top of that, I'm super happy today because I feel so in the fall mood. I have MAC Rebel on my lips. I am in a big cozy sweater and I'm stating all of the obvious so I will go ahead and get into this video but if you like it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below thanks guys I have a chair in front of me with all my products on it <laughs> okay so I don't know exactly how Jacqueline did this if she did it like in order of how you put it on the face but that is how I'm going to do it because it is the easiest for me so that means we are gonna start with primers and the primer I chose was the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. And I will tell you why I like this. I think it is a dupe for the Benefit Professional. And hey, I don't want to spend $20, $30 on a primer because things like this you just go through so quickly. So why would you want to spend that much money if you can find something that's just as good for $7 or $8? I just can't get enough of this. I think it fills in your pores and makes my makeup just slide right on top. It's beautiful. And I, I don't know, I just really like this product and I think if you like the professional, you should definitely give this a try. Okay, next is foundation. This was hard for me because in my collection I do have quite a few foundations that I have used for a very long time and it was hard to pick one that I was like, if I had to pick, like, if all my makeup disappeared, I would just use this foundation. But I did come to come to pick just one and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and I just think this is the best foundation especially from the drugstore I haven't used you know every high end foundation in the world but I think that this is just such a good foundation and I I don't know I just can't get enough of it I think that it's hard for me to find a good foundation because I have dry skin so I normally like gravitate toward luminous foundations but a lot of times it can end up making me look greasy and I'm not about that life and then obviously with matte foundations they can end up making me look a little dry and cakey but this just has the perfect finish and I love it and I think it has a good amount of coverage it's not too much it's not too little it's beautiful and I love the packaging I think it's great for traveling and it's just very easy and sleek and I think L'Oreal hit it out of the ballpark with this I think it's a great foundation concealer Okay, this was such a funny category for me because I feel like I feel like everybody I watched that did this tag said the shape, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And I just have to say is one thing I go through probably more than anything else besides mascara is concealer. And I don't want a concealer that I'm going to have to spend $20 on it, especially with the packaging like, you know, the NARS, the Tarte, the Urban Decay, they're all like small packaging with doe foot applicators and there's not a lot of product in there to begin with and then on top of that just because of the applicator it can end up going very quickly so i chose the rimmel match perfection concealer and i have had like nine or ten tubes of this and i love it i've been using it for like probably three or four years and i can't get enough of it i think it's a great product it's four dollars from the drugstore and i just i think it's perfect and i love the applicator on this actually it just has like a little brush and you can just brush it on and I think it's a really good product. I mean, I think that so many people are so picky about concealers, but a lot of people just, I mean, I don't know. I just can't get behind spending $20 on a concealer. That's all. Next is powder. Okay, so this one was a little bit difficult for me because a lot of YouTubers did like a setting powder because they bake. I prefer not to bake and I don't really like loose setting powders for multiple different reasons. So I just picked a like a face powder, but I do use it to set my concealer. And that is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And I love this stuff. I've been using it for a really long time. And I just think it's so good. I use it to set my under eyes and anywhere I put concealer on my face. And yeah, I think it's a great product. It is, it does keep you matte, which is nice because I don't like to look oily. But on that same note, I don't like to look dry. And I think that even though this is a matte powder, it doesn't make you look cakey or dry. And I just really enjoy it. I hate the packaging though. I hate how it just comes off like this because the 
bird I should travel with, but I really love the product and I just think it's amazing. It's like $3, like $3. How can you go wrong with that? It's great though. So I would recommend this if you are tr not dry. If you're dry, you can try it too. But if you are oily, I would try this. I think this is a fantastic product. Really keeps your makeup in there. Okay, next is bronzer. That's what it is. I cannot pick like one singular bronzer, so duh, the Kaplan D Shade and Light Palette. I love this thing. I got mine like a year, two years ago, and I just can't. I just love it. I want so many more. I want all of them. I want every Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette in the world so that I never run out because I love this product. I think it's so good. I did use like the under eye powders a lot, but I just love the contour slash bronzer shades in this palette. I think they are so beautiful and I really in particular, if you can see, love this shade. I have hit pan on it. It is called Shadow Play. Hmm. And I just really, really like this. I think it's so good. I think it matches my skin perfectly. But also recently, I've really been into this color, which is subconscious. I love it. If you don't have the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, like, what are you even doing with your life? Have you been living under a rock? Because this shit's bomb. Next is blush. Okay, so I don't have, like, one blush color. I'm not a blush person in general. Let's just say that. Um, I really just like bronzer and like highlight. I'm not really a blush person. I'm not really a blush person, but if I had to choose one, I would just say the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blushes in general, because I've been using these since I was like sophomore in high school. They just like reformulated and stuff. And this one right now is my favorite color, and it's Rose Champagne, and it's beautiful because you can barely see it. And I love that in blushes. I hate like bright colored blushes. They just don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's because my skin's red and I just don't like to add color to it, but I, I just can't get behind like bright blushes. So I love that blush because it looks very natural and simple and I think it's beautiful. And I think the color icon blushes are insanely pigmented and really good quality for being like two bucks. I mean, come on. I'm telling you, hit up the drugstore. That's all you gotta do. They have all the good products. Um, next is actually not a drugstore product though, and it is my highlight. I went back and forth on this for a while because I really do love like all my highlighters. I don't have a highlight that I really don't love, but this one is just my tried and true and I love it so much. And it is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and I just love this product. This was my first high-end highlighter and I just think it's the most beautiful thing in the world. I just want to like bathe in it. Oh, it's so gorgeous. But I think that this is such a good product and I think it's not too chunky and I think it's perfect and it's smooth and it's beautiful and it makes me feel like I'm glowing to the gods. Like, it's so beautiful. If you don't have this and you love makeup, go get this. I swear to God, you will not regret this. I love this product and I will repurchase another one for shizzle when it's out. <laughs> and then on top of that, I've had this product for like two years and I use this like pretty like, like, I use it like probably at least like two or three times a week and look at that barely a dent like what this product is gonna last me till I'm like in my 50s or something it's crazy I love this stuff though go get this if you don't have it you need it <sighs> brows I actually did not start filling in my brows and like using brow products until until like a year ago and when I did I was using the Revlon brow fantasy and I didn't love that because the cap always came off it was a pain in my butt but recently I actually found this and this is a really recent find for me but I love this and I've loved it since the first time I ever put it on my eyebrows and I think it's perfect and I will never go back to anything else because I love it and it is the benefit goof proof brow pencil oh my god I love this thing and it's so funny because I hear a lot of people like saying how they don't like brow pencil shaped like this because it's like that teardrop shape you can't see that I'm crazy but um it's like a teardrop shape and I just think it's so good it's like easy for me to fill in my brows because I'm not the kind of person that like meticulously draws my brows because I would look like I drew them on with a freaking sharpie if I tried that but I just love this I think it's so good it is pricey but I think it's worth it. I think with some products, you know, you just kind of have to splurge. 
Um, I'm sure there's something good at the drugstore, but I just I love this. I think you should try this. And benefit this packaging. So cute. Next is my favorite palette. This was hard for me because I don't use this one as much anymore, but this is just my ride or die. Like, this is my girl. We've been through a lot together, and I love her. And it is my Lorac Pro palette. I think this is such a good palette. I think this was my first, like, no, my second high-end palette purchase, and I love this. I think it's so beautiful. I think every makeup artist needs this in their kit or in their collection or whatever, and I just think it's a beautiful palette. I've hit pan on four shades, and I'm about to hit pan on five, on five, on the fifth, and I just really like this palette. I think you can do so much with it, and I think it's so beautiful, and it's easy, too. That's the thing. If you're a beginner and you're looking for a palette, you know, you kind of gravitate towards, you know, the, the naked palette or something like that. And this is similar, but it's, it, there's just a little bit more you can do with it. And I think it's amazing. And the pigmentation of these shadows is out of this world. I just, I think this is a great palette. If all my other palettes were lost, I could work with this. I love this palette. So my favorite liner, I'm kind of having like a love-hate relationship with this liner at the moment and it is the L'Oreal Linear Liquid Intense Liner in black and I've been using this literally for like three years, not this tube, this product and I love it. I think it's such a good product. The thing that I'm starting to hate about it that I'm really noticing that didn't bother me before so much is the fact that you can't make a super precise wing with it because I didn't used to use like do as dramatic of wings and I'm starting to try to do that now and it doesn't work that well with this product but I do love the formula and stuff I think it's just a great formula it dries matte black and yeah I just really I, I can't even tell you why it's that good but I've used it for like three years and I've never like tried anything else so well I've tried other things but I've never like gotten obsessed or used another eyeliner as much as I've used this one. So, yeah, I don't know. Favorite mascara. This is my ish. I love this. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Original. Who doesn't love this? Like, if you've never tried this mascara, you need to try this. This is, like, the real deal. I think mascara is, like, another thing that I don't want to spend a lot of money on just because you go through it so quickly. And I think this stuff is so good. I think it's, like, $7, $8 at the drugstore. And it makes my lashes so long, so voluminous, so black. I love it. And it's really hard for me, too, because I have very short eyelashes. And this stuff just, it's amazing. I really think that if you've never tried this, your life will be changed if you do. I have not used another mascara in, like three years like I try other ones out but I've never like religiously loved a mascara as I love this one so try it um and then lip products oh I forgot a lip liner how could I even do that how could I forget a lip liner okay so my favorite lip liner I actually have two and they're both from the drugstore my favorite liner just to like line my lips is natural by NYX and I think this is the best I think it has such a creamy formula and it's like two dollars and I just I, I just like it that's all and then I have Jordana's Tawny and you can get this at like Walgreens and it's like two dollars and I like to line my lips and fill them in with this and like that's all and yeah so I think they're both really great liners and they're both in the drugstore so look at that my favorite lipsticks I have a high-end and a drugstore one so I'll show you the drugstore one first and it is the L'Oreal Collection Privé by JLo and it's just this color right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I hope you can. And it's just this like nudie pink and it's not matte. It's not really like, I don't know. I just think it's the perfect formula and it is 370 Jennifer's Nude. And I think this is a fantastic lipstick and I have three tubes of this and I can't get enough of it. And I think it's just the perfect nude for every single day. Next is a MAC lipstick. I mean, obviously. And it is the color Velvet Teddy. I love this color. Hopefully, again, you can see it. Maybe not. Maybe so. I hope so. It is like a brown, knee, orangey, reddish nude. And I love it. I think it's so beautiful. It is a, it is a matte formula. Um, so it can be kind of drying sometimes. But for the most part, if you just kind of put a chapstick underneath, you're going to be good. But I really like this. I just think this is the most beautiful color. And I think it's really nice for like fall and stuff with like a warm eye. And I like it. I don't know. 
I think it's a good lipstick for sure. And then I have three products left. Next is a liquid lipstick, and this is ColourPop Echo Park. I think, I think this is the satin lip, and I just dig this. I think it's a beautiful color, and I really like it. It's a good nude. It's a little bit darker, but I do think it is beautiful for every day, and ColourPop hit it out of the park with this formula, so... Yeah, if you haven't tried ColourPop, go try them. They're awesome, and they're like $5. I mean, it's worth it. Try it. Try it. Okay, favorite lip gloss. So this was kind of hard for me because I love the NYX Butter Glosses, but they can wear off quick sometimes, and I'm not about that life. And I remembered my baby, and it's the Buxom Full-On Lip Cream in White Russian. I love this. This is a fantastic lip gloss. It stays on all day. It's a beautiful, like, milky pink nude color and it makes your lips all tingly and it's minty and I just really really enjoy that so yeah I just love this I think this is amazing like if you love nudie pinky milky kind of glosses you should try this out it's amazing it's a little pricey for lip gloss but hey lip gloss lasts me for a long time I'm like I don't go through lip products very quickly so you should definitely try that and then last but certainly not least is my Urban Decay Up All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray for setting spray. I'm pretty sure everybody said this, but that's okay. I'll be a follower on this. I love this product. I think it makes your makeup stay on all day. I only have a baby size right now, but I think this is fantastic. If you're going out for a night on the town or you're going to an event or a school dance or anything like that, this is fantastic. Wedding day, this is good. This keeps your makeup on all night because it's all nighter. See what I'm saying? This is good. You should try this out. Um, I would recommend, because at first, the first time I tried it, I kind of had like a weird skin reaction to it. So I'd recommend if you've never tried it and you have sensitive skin to get a baby size first just to make sure it doesn't irritate your skin. But if you like it from there, girl, you need this in your life. Okay, well, okay, well, that is all of my favorite makeup products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please comment down below and tell me what your favorite products are. I would love to know and try them out. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.